coordination role and resident coordinator's office has been paramount uh, in that I can think of in the last one and a half years. One of the very critical input has been that we have restarted the strategic dialogue which came to a complete standstill during the last government. And this strategic dialogue is absolutely a key intervention of the UN coordination with the development partners group and of course at the highest level of the government. We had about three strategic dialogues that kick started last year. Um, that was two of them is in mainland and one in Zanzibar, where we often talk about uh, the, the role of uh, the development partners group, the coordination role of the United Nations, and of course, our contribution in support to government. What are some of the gaps? What can we do better? And of course, governments reach out to us to say, uh, what are some of the critical elements they think we can add value? The second one I can think of is, of course, the Kigoma joint program. Kigoma is that region of the country where there is influx of refugees from Burundi. It has been there for some time. Kigoma phase one, Kigoma joint program phase one is a flagship project, which is about joint program of 16 UN agencies. Phase one contributed in lowering the poverty rate in the region. Phase two, which was signed up and kick-started as of December of last year, again is about $92 million project. Uh, I think we have about 67% women who are beneficiaries of that project and it reaches out to about 400,000 uh, people in Kigoma region. Government specifically requested is the flagship of Kigoma phase two and the contribution we made that we reach out not just to four uh, areas in the community and the beneficiaries but to the whole of Kigoma region and that is where this phase two is now looking into. The third one is a critical part of, uh, is of my role, my personal role who chairs the VNR, the Voluntary National Review Task Force. The VNR, uh, this is the second VNR report that government is submitting and that is going to the high level forum, political forum but again in September during the GA and uh, I am currently chairing that and make, making sure that we have leaving no one behind is truly being, being what we walk the talk, government walks the talk and of course private sector, I just hosted an event a couple of weeks back where private sector I kind of expressed the importance of private sector and their role in meeting some of the targets but of course VNR is a, is a report that government is currently working with UN. We have contributed, sister agencies are contributing, DPGs are contributing. I think RCO, we from the RCO contributed financially, but it is again, we look forward to submitting this report and hopefully the quality of this report is far improved than the first one. And yes, I personally kind of keep that oversight with the task force and Minister of Finance, ensuring that uh, we reach the quality of the target that we hope to do. And of course, uh, SDG localizations, UN uh, agencies are contributing to it, making sure that we get the, uh, the, the statistics, the data that we collect from the field. So yes, these are some of the critical uh, role that the RCO is playing uh, in, in, in Tanzania. And we look forward to contributing this, making sure that all of the rest are being implemented going forward. Thank you.